What's up you guys, it's me Oleander and today I'm going to be working on a fuck up a rapist spell. So if you're sensitive to this kind of stuff, then you probably should click away now. So I made this. It's probably pretty clear what it represents and I've carved the person's name into it and I've written the petition so I'm gonna burn the petition along with some sulfur This smells horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. And I want the smoke from those two powders that I just put in there. So remember in my second Black Magic Herbs video, I told you guys that my family mixes sulfur and asafoetida, asafoetida, I'm sure it said both ways, um, as an incense for Black Magic workings. Only the darkest ones though. So today you're going to be seeing me use things that I usually don't use very often. Okay. So I'm going to end up taking all of this in here and pouring it. On there later on. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a nail. I'm going to heat it up really good. And I'm going to create an opening in this rusty nail. I'm going to create a crevice or a cavity that I'm going to add things into. So give me a minute. The nails get really hot, so be careful if you're going to do this. I'm going to switch to a different one because that one's already heated up really good. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna just warm it up really good. I'm gonna shove it right into there. I'm sure you can understand why if you're old enough to understand. If you're not, you shouldn't be here watching this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting things into this little hole, which is not very big, so it's okay if it falls over because as long as some of it gets in there, the rest can just go around the plate. I'm going to... I'm gonna do these last because they're gonna burn my fingers. I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper on it. I'm gonna add a dead spider. Let's see. I'm going to choose one. They kind of got molded together, which is fine. All right. So I'm going to shove that on there. I'm going to do some graveyard dirt. Access says on me. All right. So let's see, what else do I have here? Some black salt. Okay, but before I put the salt on, I want to kind of. Because you got to remember when you. Some people say bless something as somebody else it becomes them. It's no longer an inanimate object. So this represents somebody's, you know. So someone who rapes somebody else. You could do this to a woman too. Don't be fooled. There are women rapists. I'm gonna cause some sores. Because you know when you pour salt into wounds, it could do two things. It could do two things. It can heal, but my black salt ain't gonna fucking heal anybody. Or it can cause a lot of pain. All right, so let's get some black salt. Let's put it on there.
I'm even going to heat up some pins. Use black pins or red. I'm going to stick those in. I'm going to do three. When I made this poppet or effigy, I mixed in with the wax a bunch of chili peppers. Okay, so what else do I have over here? All right. You guys never see me use this, but I'm gonna use it today. I'm sure that feels really good. I have other things to add, but I want to hold this all into place. So I'm going to start melting wax to hold it on. Guys, remember why I use chilies? Not 
a lot of this stuff is putrid and the bacteria like seals the lid sometimes it's hard to open perfect for this Let's reach in here and pull out a chunk of something. Some nasty, rotten something from here. Perfect. We'll throw that on there. Who knows how long that has been in my war water. Years. Years, probably. So see if a chunk of something will come out. Probably not. All right. That's fine. do my spell silently because I'm not giving this one away. I don't recommend anybody do this on their own. I think you should go to a professional for this. So I'm going to do my spell as I try to hold as much of this stuff on here as I can. And I'm just going to throw... These are Thai chilies. They're really hot. I'm going to put those on there too. I'm going to use this melting wax to hold as much of it on here as I can. And if you made it this far in the video, can you guys guess what kind of incense this is that I'm using? It's not dragon's blood, but it's really good for making people sick. And obviously we want him to have issues, medical issues, with his dick because he's a rapist. So leave me a comment and let me know your best guess on what kind of incense that is. And this is some dark shit. I know it's not for everybody. I'm gonna do my spell. All right, and while that is going, I'm gonna take some shards of glass and I'm gonna shove it in there too, if I can. All right. I don't wanna heat it up too much, but just enough to poke it through. I'm going to do the same with some rose thorns. I'm going to stick one right in the front. Stick one on the side. And I'm going to stick one back here. Okay. 
what am I missing? Okay, we're gonna put some blackberry root, wild blackberry root, and I'm also gonna secure that down. You can check my second Black Magic Herbs video to figure out why I'm putting blackberry root on here. And I suggest if you're advanced enough to do this kind of stuff without repercussions, that you use blackberry root in serious matters of destruction and hatred because you'll know why if you go watch it. All right. The last thing I'm gonna do, well, you know what? Adding a little sulfur on top of this can't hurt anything. We're gonna put some sulfur on here. sizzle. It's perfect. It's great. Yes. The very last thing I'm going to do for now, because I am going to keep this put away somewhere where no one can get to it in a dark, damp, dirty ass place. And I'm going to keep it around for probably six weeks before I take it all and wrap it in a black cloth and bury it. It's not good enough. A little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to put this away and I'm gonna let it start to manifest and like I said, when I'm done, I'll be wrapping it in a black cloth and I'll be burying it. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye for now.